OK, um, so in this example, ladies and gentlemen, we're trying to find n. So if you guys remember the sum formula, s of n equals n divided by 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. Now, um, the main important thing, though, guys, is we need to figure out how many terms we have. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need to determine what type of sequence is this. Do these terms have a common difference or a common ratio? Difference, right? And you guys can see that. You can say d equals um, a sub 2 minus a sub 1, which is 9 minus 8, which equals 1. And is there a difference between each of these as 1? At least we can see, yes, it's 1. And actually, I believe actually the original problem even tells you it's an arithmetic sequence. Now, the next thing is, though, we need to figure out how many numbers there are. In this one, they don't tell you how many number terms there are, correct? So what we need to do is we actually need to go back and use our formula, a sub n equals a sub 1 um, plus n minus 1 times d. We need to actually figure out what is our um, number of terms. Are you saying, excuse me, Mr. McGlogan, I can't see? Is that what you said? OK. Of what? So is that good enough for you? Is that good? I was just saying for her. Whoa, whoa. All right. So um, basically what we do is the only thing we do know is ace of 1, which is uh, 8, which is our first term, and d, which is 1. So we'd say ace of n equals a sub 1, which is 8, plus n minus 1 times d, which is 1. Right? Remember, we don't know what, we don't know what a sub n is. Right? Um, so therefore, I'm going to apply this. I have a sub n equals 8 plus n minus 1. a sub n, huh? Oh. Hello? Yes. Yes. I need to see it in my office, Mr. Holloway. OK, we'll do. Uh, Skyler, you need to go and see Mr. Holloway. Um, so now, um, basically, what we have is we have a sub n is equal to um, 7. What? Because you have 8 minus the 1, which is going to be 7. Does that make sense? Huh? No. 8 minus 1 is 7. OK. Now, basically, what we want to do is um, now we need to be able to figure out now what we need to